G'day guys, Jake here with you today. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to update Windows 8 to 8.1 even when it fails. Now I'll show you what happens when it fails. So if we just go to the store and hit the update went to Windows 8.1 and hit download. We'll take a second. Now this is actually a free update, so you can do that. It says your 8.1 installation could not be completed. Something happened and the installation for 8.1 cannot be completed. And it'll sometimes pop up with this thing too for you to update, which if you hit that, it's not going to work because obviously you get that error. So what that means is that you haven't actually installed all of your normal Windows updates. So to do that, hit the start button, type in update, go to settings and install optional updates. Then it'll show the updates that you need to do and hit install updates. Now this can take quite a while depending how many updates there is to do. So I'll speed it up for you. So now the updates are done and it's rebooted and everything, you'll notice that it goes to its normal Windows screen. You hit Windows Store, hit the update, and now hit download. And that error should not happen this time. It should actually start downloading like it normally would, which it'll just take a second to go through. And then it'll go through its download and you can work away while it's actually doing it, or you can just leave it to do it it's up to you and then when it's finished you'll just need to reboot and it'll install the updates which takes a fair while so as you see it says Windows 8.1 Pro downloading now I'll just cut this bit out because it takes a while and then this thing pops up your PC needs to restart so you hit restart now and then it'll go through the whole installation of the upgrade installation of Windows 8.1 and this can take some time, so I will also speed that up. So as you see, it's just running through its little setup thing, and it'll just keep going, and at the end, it'll restart, and you should have your, this thing, your Express Settings. Now you can click Use Express Settings, and it'll do its own thing, or you can customize so then you've got your options like this home network thing you can change your options for how you want windows updates to install which i always like to leave them automatically and just let it do it and also get the drivers and if you want to protect your privacy i don't really care i'll turn that off if i want to and what you want to do if something crashes if you want to send information to microsoft about the products and then this is if you want to share your account, like your Microsoft account with apps and stuff. Then once you hit next, it'll just finalize its settings, go through the magic, the magic black screen that you can see. And then it does this thing, just like with a new Windows installation. Hi, we're setting a few things up for you. So it's pretty much just setting up your user profile, reactivating everything and getting it all up and running properly. And I'll speed this up too, because this does usually take, you know, 5 to 20 minutes. So you see how the colours are flicking real quick? They don't usually flick that quick. This is sped up about 50 times to the normal speed. And then at the end of the little thing, it'll go, let's start. And then you're brought to Windows 8.1. As you see, the start button's back in there. And it's all the same as Windows 8.1. So there you go, that's how to update win to Windows 8.1 even when it tells you that you can't. Don't forget, like and subscribe to see more videos, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.